Welcome and thanks for downloading Remote Desktop Manager. To help you get started, let's take a quick tour of the RDM interface so you can get familiar with your brand new IT toolbox. Once you've completed the onboarding wizard, you'll be brought to RDM's interface with the Getting Started Welcome Page tab open, which walks you through some basic features. It's a great way to dive in and learn how to get started. If at any point you need help, want to know specifics about a certain functionality, be sure to check out our documentation, forum, blogs, and our Devolutions Academy, a free online resource for mastering Devolutions products. Also in the main window is the RDM dashboard. This is where the majority of the action happens. In it, you'll see your entry information, reports, charts, documentation, and embedded remote sessions, all in one centralized location. RDM also provides quick access to various tools and functionalities using the main toolbar, which can be configured as a dropdown or ribbon. I'm going to switch to use the ribbon. Here you can see the various tabs that contain all sorts of resources, tools, and ways for me to interact with RDM. Again, if you need any assistance, be sure to check out the help tab where we have quick links to get you the answers you need. On the left hand side is the navigation pane where you'll find all of your vault contents with folders and entries. Entries can be almost anything, remote sessions, credentials, scripts, dashboards, or secure data. In the bottom left corner, you'll find the navigation tabs which contain links to your vaults, open sessions, favorites, and account information. If you're connected to multiple data sources like I am, you'll see the data source selector here as well. But if not, you can go to File and then Data Sources to add, edit, and configure any data sources that you may want to use. In order to better illustrate the differences between individual and advanced data sources, let me switch to Devolution Server. Since Devolution Server is a self-hosted advanced data source, you'll notice more options for sharing with Teams. For example, now I have a Vault selector. Mine is configured here on the bottom. This lets me quickly switch between vaults in just a click. You'll also notice that there are some additional navigational tabs. Not only do I have my shared vaults, but also a personal user vault, some administrative and PAM vaults, as well as the account tab for quick access to settings. Let's switch back to our SQLite data source and add an entry. Since it's a session, I'll click on Add Session to filter session entries. But if I click on the plus icon, I'll see all the available entries to choose from. For this demonstration, we'll create an RDP session. So I'm going to click on RDP and select it. Then I'm going to fill out the appropriate information like my host and my username and my password. Great. Now we can open that session and it'll open up in an embedded tab and we can get right to work. And there you have it. A quick tour to get you started with Remote Desktop Manager. With your data sources set up and your first entry created, you're ready to explore and make RDM your own. Remember, if you need a little extra help, check out the resources on this page or reach out to our awesome support team.